Number 15. Sasquatch Sighting after watching this video, it's hard to deny that Sasquatch is for real. TikToker The Luke Pilgrim shares this frightening footage of one of these so called mythical creatures caught on camera. Watch the forest tree line. Some are saying this is the best Sasquatch footage they've ever seen, others claim to have seen one for themselves. Still, others are pointing out that the TikToker is a Georgia-based filmmaker and VFX artist making sci-fi short films, according to his bio. You like your little car, buddy? Yeah. Oh, so, with that knowledge, all I've got to say is, nice work, number f Exactly. You could tell on that one. I was like, come on, man. Like y'all saw my face, bro. I was like, "Come on, man. That's that 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 was not the best footage we've seen, and we've seen a lot of footage as far as Sasquatch goes, man. I I've personally seen a lot of footage. That is not the best. You could almost tell that was like post edit or something like that. You could tell." Fourteen seeing things. In recent months, there have been multiple cases of people freaking out on airplanes and saying they're seeing something others cannot see. This is yet another of those cases, and I think I may know what they're seeing. I came across this image on the Spanish-speaking side of YouTube. The original source is unknown. I believe this creepy figure could be a representation of what these individuals are seeing. It looks human, but not human. Like a Francis Bacon can painting. It looks all too uncanny valley. The guy is seeing something that we're not. Not saying it is 100% this thing, but maybe something like it. A moving plane, 35,000 feet above ground. I can only imagine he is seeing something worth escaping from. And if this is what it is, I don't blame him. Number th Like, at this point, y'all have got to be, like, worried getting on a plane. And I say y'all because y'all know I don't fly, but y'all got to be worried. Y'all got to be tense. You got to be nervous. You got to be on guard, prepared. Like, and how do you do that on a plane that high up in the air flying? What is going on on these planes right now? That's This is the second, yeah, this is the second one I've seen where a passenger, and I think the other one hadn't took off yet because they, they removed her off the plane. But this is the second one where I've seen somebody going crazy and the first thing everybody do is pull their phones out. No, 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 no. No, no. If we're up in the air and we're flying, we need to get this person. And that's why I think at this point they need to start having like officers required to fly on these planes. That needs to be a requirement. 13. Creepy Creature This thing looks humanoid, but is it human? TikToker Lifting the Veil shares this creepy video of a couple of creepy creatures. What do you think they are? The way the one jumps makes me think they're some type of monkey, but they don't have a discernible face. Some TikTokers think they know exactly what's going on here. I think any one of these answers could be correct.
I'm leaning toward a Dover demon. Let's compare it to an artistic rendering of it. Dover demon? That answer is the most intriguing to me. Number 12. Did you see how the second person jumped down behind the other one? Person, whatever it is you want to call it. And I say person because the, the knees and the legs and the arms were kind of defined like an actual person. But at the same time, it could be like, you know how in the Amazon you have all these different, um, these villages of people that prefer to be there and not have human contact because they're scared of what we may bring. They could be, since they've lived in the wild so long, mimic certain animals and could be moving like that. So depending on where that was taken at, you could have on camera one of those villagers like mimicking like animals or something like that. Or depending on where you're from and different urban legends, it could be whatever they're talking about it is. Whatever it is, man, y'all better find like some brick dust or something to put around your house to keep it out. Well, cousin it, this hairy demon has TikTokers <laughs> doing a double take. TikToker Mr. 42 Stories shares footage of a terrifying unknown creature. What? I think this looks like Cousin's much creepier older brother, but TikTokers have their own theories. My mom, when she wakes up. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. What's the kid doing there? Although there are no answers to these questions and no context to the footage. I agree with TikToker Carrie Nicholson, who suggests that this thing's natural habitat is your nightmares. Number 11. I don't care what it is. It ain't enough space in between them for me, fam. I need way more space around whatever that is, just in case it decides to have a, a moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it, it forgets it's friendly and wants to come at somebody. It ain't enough space in between them. I wouldn't let my kid, I would never let my kid get close to that. Evan, old cemetery surprise. When you're on the search for spirits in an old cemetery, you may be more surprised by the living. YouTuber Gankwa P shares this footage of a chilling encounter in this Thai graveyard. As they light incense, they feel like they're being watched. <laughs> And maybe they are. They get goosebumps and their hair stands on end. <laughs> they must be sensing this. I surely wouldn't be laughing when confronted by a tiger that looks ready to pounce. They were lucky this predator didn't make them its prey. They were this close to keeping the cemetery spirits company. Number 10. Nah, I would have unfriended the dude that told me don't run. What you mean, don't run? <laughs> and you're going to be yelling that at to me as I'm running. I'm running, fam. What do you mean, don't run? No. What's the saying? I ain't got to be fast. I just got to outrun you. That's all I got to do. I got to outrun you. I'm gone. <laughs> Haunted Hospital. This hospital is covered in an inordinate amount of religious relics. Does this mean something? YouTuber Outdoor Zhao Long thinks so, as he explores the place and finds things aren't what they seem. Watch this. What's all That's a scooter you're seeing, driving itself upright. Zhao Long races toward the room it entered and discovers the scooter completely still. <laughs> he continues through the hospital and hears this strange hiss. 
，这个老逼肯定是个信佛的，兄弟们。哎呦。More noises resound, like something being moved. And the activity doesn't end there. <laughs> it's like an entity is just one step ahead of him. <laughs> Always eluding him. This place gets spookier by the minute. And I think I'd be less concerned about what is here. And more concerned about making it out of there alive. Luckily, Xiao Long does make it out, but I'm sure this experience will haunt him for the rest of his days. Number. See, I'm always skeptical of people like that. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I'm not exploring no abandoned buildings and churches and stuff like that because I do believe a lot of them things are haunted like that. But when people put a video out like this, when you're, I be trying to check to make sure your movements or your responses are natural and and things like that. Example. Who sees a scooter, screams, and then run towards it? You doing that? I'm not doing that, fam. I'm not, right? And then what's your natural reaction when you hear something behind you or something like that? You turn around and you're like, but you're trying to remain quiet. You're trying to keep yourself. You know what I'm saying? You be like, what's that? You turn around and you be like, all right. And you, you, your heart and everything start racing and elevating. But you don't run, turn around and scream, ah. Maybe a woman might. That's except. But most men, you're going to turn around and be like, all right, what's that? And you're going to start trying to figure out a way to get out of there. Not scream and then run towards it. That's what be making me sometimes skeptical about some of this stuff. Nine, British Oak Pub. This British Oak Pub has a haunted reputation. And the YouTube team, Is It Haunted, is here to answer that very question. The moment they enter, it seems the spirits are warning them. And as the team listens closely, they hear several bangs and taps. The noises keep coming. And the team keeps egging them on. Some of the sounds occur right in front of them, but remain unexplained. Ooh. Jesus, right there. Yeah. Right there. I felt it vibrate. While others come from far away. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> I said a significant come on that one. But. They ask for the spirits to make a noise if they want both of them to come upstairs, and this happens. Right, so make a significant noise, you want two of us to go up. I would say the verdict is, this place is haunted, and it's trying to lure them upstairs. Number eight. See, now them, I believe. They, they wasn't doing too much, you could tell. And they was really, their responses were genuine. I tell you what I wouldn't have did though, when that thing made a noise, after he asked them, if you make a noise, both of us to come upstairs, I would have lied. 
I'd have been like, make a noise if you want us to come upstairs. It would have made a noise. Now I'd have been like, all right, cool. I know you up there. I'm, I'm not coming though. <laughs> I'm not. I know where you are now and I'm going to stay down here. Let's keep our separation and distance. That's how this thing works. Eight, the judge's lodging. While investigating the judge's lodging, YouTube team Ghosts on Trent is met with unnerving silence. Disturbed upon occasion, as they move through the lodging, every sound heightens their fear. The fear intensifies, so much so that sometimes, they scare themselves. <laughs> I thought something was being thrown at me. The thing you. is, like, I don't want to turn me back without a camera on. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? While this investigation doesn't turn up much paranormal activity, the place is haunting in its own right. Maybe you could move on. Well, no knives were thrown at them in the judge's lodging, as has been the case during some investigations. I do love the ambiance of this seriously spooky place. Number seven, Poltergeist Possession. YouTuber Roland of all four tube vlogs believes his house needs an exorcist immediately, and you'll soon see why. Yeah, uh, I'm not even saying it. I'm not even saying I'm trying to watch my- A poltergeist has entered his home, and it's taking its revenge. Okay, that, that's just, this cannot be happening. No, this cannot be happening. I'm done with this. I am- The camera cuts off at this point, according to Roland, and the closet continues to bang open and closed. When he gets his camera back up and running, the doors continue. All right, here we go. This is not ever stopping. It seems he did scare it away, or did it just move onto a different closet? On another occasion, Roland sees poltergeist activity playing with the taps in the kitchen. Starts to move by itself. Now, I remember the, the last time there was water coming out of this and then again, it was doing that. So I don't know what, look, 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 look there it goes again. Look at that, look at that, look at that, right there. He then sees a chair move on its own. So he asks the poltergeist to show the camera Pull it out enough so I can fit in here and sit down. Oh, 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 okay, I see. You're trying, are you trying? The chair is moving. Can you move, you gotta use more strength. Although the chair doesn't slide out as Roland asks, the poltergeist is not done yet. Is this poltergeist pushing Roland's sanity to its limits? I think so. And if I was in his shoes, I'd have gone crazy by now with all of this paranormal activity. Number six. Listen, I ain't saying he lying, even though I'm a bit skeptical of this, because that's a lot. That's a lot of activity in one home. You know what I'm saying? For you to catch all of that on camera, I ain't saying you, you but I'm a little bit skeptical. At the same time, that's not even what I was laughing at, though. <laughs> what I was laughing at, because when the closet door was opening and closing, I could just imagine a kid throwing a tantrum. You know how a kid could be throwing a tantrum? So he got kind of like a ghost throwing a tantrum, and they just sitting there just closing and shutting the door, closing and shutting the door, closing. Like, like <laughs> that's what I was laughing at. I could just see it and imagine it. So that's what had me laughing, my fault, though. Ghost girl. Did this spirit lose their life on the tracks? YouTuber Thiago Ferracao and his team head to this haunted place to find out, and what they discover there is chilling. Thiago and Taze get a reading on their EMF meter in the tunnel that falls under the tracks. Huh? Huh? 
Você entra aí, velho. Eu vou. Cuidado, mano. Ó, ó, ó. Meu Deus, é aí dentro, Thiago. As they're leaving the place, the cameraman sees something. Alguma coisa. Pra ver se tem se sente alguma coisa. Ah! Ali dentro. Ah, Regna. Tem um negócio ali dentro. Eu vou um negócio ali dentro. But by the time they turn around, it's gone. As they search the train tracks for the figure, they hear a train coming. Galera do céu. Você pode aparecer? The train does eventually arrive, but the figure is nowhere in sight. We only see it in this one instance. And as for me, I'm undecided if this is a phantom or a live human watching them. The second choice is, in some ways, even more unnerving. Number five. Hell yeah. I don't know. It seems I'm, I'm like like the narrator said. I'm I'm caught in between on this one, man. It was it definitely threw me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. You know what I mean? But. I tell you, as a kid, man, those cornfields scared me to death. You ever walk past one of those at night after seeing like some horror movies about like cornfields, children of the corn, different things like that? Walk by a cornfield at night, bro. <sighs> do something to you. It will do something to you. I promise you, man. And I got to get one of those, what, is, what they call it, EF meters? I want one. I want one, but at the same time, I don't want one because it's like you don't want to know. You want to know, but you really don't want to know. I've dark web coordinates. What would you do if coordinates you discovered on the dark web led you to this? Even in the summer, even in the gadget. YouTuber Paranoiacs received both this child's creepy drawing and this random syringe. <laughs> As he's going through the bag's contents, he feels like someone's watching. Who's there? As this is the dark web we're talking about, my guess would be a sadistic stranger. Number four, Amethyst. That's why when you stumble upon somebody's stuff, you leave it alone, fam. <laughs> they probably was watching you from afar. I, I don't know. I, I, I try to mind my business, man. Leave that type of stuff alone. If you think an item of clothing will serve as protection against demons, think again. YouTuber Stephanie of Get Spooky Society shares this footage of a private investigation gone wrong. As Stephanie explains what this resident has called her and her paranormal team in for, this happens. They've been having a lot of things happening since they moved in here about two years ago. <gasps> that was not your earring. Yes, it was. Shut up. Where is it? Right there. It just flew off your ear again? Uh huh. That may seem like nothing special, right. but this is an amethyst protection earring meant to protect against evil spirits, and apparently, it just flew out of her ear. Holy and the back is still on. Holy. The, the back crap. is still on the back of my ear. <sighs> Could it have simply been loose and fallen out? Of course that's possible, but this truly seems suspicious to me. No I ain't gonna lie now, at first I was like, yeah, that's nothing, but now that I see how far it flew from her ear, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's different when you see in relation to where she was standing and how far that earring went, like somebody had to hit the back of her ear to go. If it would just drop by her feet, then I'd be like, all right, cool, like, that's nothing. But the distance though, yeah, I had to get up out of there quickly. Number three, banging and crashing. This building is supposed to be abandoned. So what's that noise? YouTube team Unexplained Files UK returns to one of the scariest locations they visited and it doesn't fail to deliver. In the dark hallways, they start hearing noises.
After searching the place, they conclude that it's just water. But as they try to communicate through a spirit app, they keep hearing noises. <laughs> is it just water again, or is something more nefarious here? The team doesn't find the answer, so we are left to guess. I guess I wouldn't stay here another second. Number 2. Unknown Creature This next one may be a Sasquatch as well, but is it also digitally generated? TikToker WV Paranormal shares this scary footage, captured by a mother and child in the forest. While it looks like a Sasquatch from a distance, some are commenting on the creature's Popeye the Sailor Man forearms and questioning whether this is a costume. A capture of its face suggests otherwise. Some say it looks real, others say it's obviously a suit, but I don't think either judgment is conclusive. Someone is gonna have to get closer to find out for sure, and that someone is certainly not gonna be me. I've got it. Let me tell you why, several reasons why I think that right there. First of all, was she challenging that thing? Or whatever that was? That wouldn't happen. Number two, do you see that thing? If you had something like that in the woods, that size, massive, whatever it was, as soon as you try to walk on it, that thing is going to either pick up your scent or hear you and turn around and be staring you down. Thing ain't just going to let you just walk up on it and it just walk around just clueless. It's not happening, bro. It's not happening. Those Sasquatch or whatever, monkeys, gorillas, whatever, bears, them things is territory. You ain't finna walk up on them like that and just think you finna just have it. No, and talk like that? No, you're not. Sorry. Sorry. Ain't happening. A challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is chillin YT and tap that follow button to find out. Number one, small gray man. YouTuber Erwin Saunders is no stranger to incredible sightings in the forest, and this outing is no different. He spots this little gray man outside its small cave in the forest. That was, that was the male, so I thought that was a female burrow, so I don't know quite what he's doing there. Where has he gone? Behind those trees there. Oh, he's off. A while later, he sees the gray man again amongst the foliage. Obviously up there, he's sort of well out of my reach, so... Oh, where's he going? Now yeah, I can't really get up there. Erwin follows the little guy and tracks him one more time. He's uh, scuffling him. Well, Peeking over the edge, that foliage there. Although Irwin's little creatures aren't quite as terrifying as some legendary monsters, like many on this list, their behavior always provides twists you never see coming. From the uncanny to the jump scare. Oh, stop. I gotta cut it out with some of these videos, bro. <laughs> like, that, that thing, listen, and I'm of the belief that. It, it could be some things out there like that, but that one just looked too CGI-ish for me. I, I don't know. Y'all y'all get at me in the comment section and let me know what y'all thought, man. Some of these videos, I'd be like, all right, cool. But some of these, I'm like, all right, y'all yeah, just, it's too much. It's too much. Like, even the acting. Stop it. Y'all get at me. Let me know what you thought of this video, man. Until next one, I'm gone. Peace.